Vehicle YouTube. This is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Honda Goldwing. Welcome to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel, the channel for everything Honda Goldwing. DIY tips, hacks, tips. I already said tips, didn't I? So DIY tips, hacks, and accessory installation and review videos. If you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing, or if you just like watching someone on YouTube who is, take a second to click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Now this morning is the first day of our Wing Ding 41 trip from Dallas-Fort Worth to Nashville. We just left the house about five minutes ago. We're on our uh, way to Nashville. We're on uh, State Highway 121, the tollway, and we're pulling the Bush Tech trailer. I've got uh, Ricky on the back. Ricky, can you come around here and wave at the camera? I don't know if she's doing it or not. She may not be able to hear me. So uh, we are on our way to El Dorado, Arkansas today. And uh, as we get down the road and get out of town, we'll uh, tell you a little more about what's going on. Now, it's about 80 degrees this morning. It's a little cooler than normal. And uh, we got a little bit of rain last night, and that helped cool things off a little bit. So hopefully that will uh, keep us a little cooler today. But the weather looks good. The skies are pretty clear. And we're on our way to Wingding 41. Well, we're about uh, 35 or 40 miles outside of Dallas. And I told you that we were going to kind of be trying out this Cardo Pack Talk Bold headsets uh, between uh, Ricky and myself. And right now it is a fail. Uh, the intercom, we're connected through the DMC intercom, and uh, it's not that great as far as uh, headset to headset communication. And also, uh, for some reason, I don't have any uh, connection to the Goldwing radio system. Uh, I have the Goldwing uh, programmed on channel A of the Pack Talk Bold on my headset. And I also have the Garmin GPS on channel B. And I'm getting uh, signals from the Garmin, and I'm getting the signal from Ricky from her headset, but I'm not getting the audio from the Goldwing. So I have no radio, no music, no nothing right now. And I don't know why. I don't, I've tried turning my headset off and back on, on the dash, it does show that my headset is connected to the Goldwing, but yet I'm getting no sound. So if any of you out there are real familiar with the Cardo Pack Talk Bold, or if someone from Cardo is watching this video, and if you have any ideas, I'm more than willing to hear what they are, because right now, uh, this Cardo Pack Talk Bold is not working for the two of us together. Now, Ricky is getting the radio through her headset. Of course, she's not connected to the Garmin. But, she said the quality is really bad, so I'm going to have to check that when we get to a stop. And she said she can barely hear the radio, that the, the radio quality is not very good. So that's just a quick update on our initial uh, testing of the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. I really think, personally for me, uh, all things considered, I think I prefer the corded system on the uh, previous Goldwing better. I think it was easier to deal with. There just seems to be a lot of uh, complexities to this Bluetooth system. Uh, it's just over overcomplicated than it needs to be so uh, we never had these kind of issues with the corded system but we're uh, heading out it's about 78 degrees it got a little bit cooler once you get outside the big city it cools off a little bit and we're going to uh, just keep on trucking down the road 
Well, we're only uh, maybe an hour into the trip and we decided to stop for a quick uh, breakfast at Brahms here in Bonham. Ricky's making her way through some biscuits and gravy. And I uh, had a breakfast burrito, so <laughs> we will. Uh, I, I uh, was too in a hurry to eat it to videotape it so you can see it. It wasn't much to look at. So, anyway, uh, we'll be hitting back, hitting the road here pretty soon. US 82 East heading to Paris, Texas. And a quick update on the Cardo Pack Talk Bowl. We stopped for breakfast, and when we got back on the bike, I thought I'd try starting up my headset first. And when I did, I could hear the stereo, I could also hear the GPS. And as soon as I started up Ricky's headset, I lost the stereo. So I don't know if I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means her the intercom is coming across Bluetooth on channel A. I don't know and blocking channel A. I don't know what's going on. So I cannot get the music. I cannot get my channel A input and the GPS and the intercom between the other headset at the same time. So again, if any of you are familiar with the Pack Talk Bowl, uh, any information would be helpful because this is the first time we've tried this. the rain finally found us uh, we just went through about a five mile stretch of uh, pretty good rainfall not too bad but enough to where we got kind of wet as you can see from the face shield but right now it's kind of let up a little bit uh, we're in Arkansas on our way to Magnolia we're about 20 miles west of Magnolia and uh, the good news is the temperature is down around 79 degrees, so it's really pleasant. Uh, we get a little bit of sun every now and then, a little bit of clouds, but overall it's a pretty nice day for riding, except we did get a little bit wet, but we'll dry out. miles outside of El Dorado, pretty close to the hotel. I just like to stop before I go to the hotel and fill up with gas uh, so they don't have to worry about it in the morning. We'll just get up and pack the bike up and go. So we just stopped here at a mobile station to get some gas and we're headed to the hotel now. Made it to El Dorado, uh, first day arrived, about 289 miles. We are at the Fairfield Inn Suites in El Dorado, and uh, pretty good ride today. Um, we got some rain, maybe 10 minutes worth at most, but we got wet. But by the time we got here, we were dry. Um, the hotel is nice; it looks like it's brand new. The only problem is it's almost impossible. Uh, to park the motorcycle with the trailer because the parking lot is there's all different kinds of angles and there's no flat place anywhere in this parking lot uh, to park a motorcycle so that was challenging i had to park the bike four different times uh, to find a place that i felt like it wouldn't 
you know, the wind wouldn't blow it over or something like that. So anyway, uh, tomorrow morning we'll be on our way to Tupelo, Mississippi, and um, we'll check in with you then. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it, and we'll see you tomorrow.